welcome back to our next part of the video the name of the chapter microorganisms friend and foe let us come to the topic friendly microorganisms now these friendly microorganisms how they help us let us discuss in this topic we all love to eat curd but have you ever thought of how it is made the answer is microorganisms now the bacterium called lactobacillus it reproduces in milk and converts the sugar lactose found in milk to lactic acid thus forming the curd so this lactobacillus what it does it convert the sugar into lactic acid so the processing of many other food items like cheese pickles wine etc are made the use of microorganisms now as we know that yeast plays an important role in the preparation of many common food like bread cake pastries idli and dhokla now the yeast what it does it reproduces rapidly and produces carbon dioxide during respiration so what happens then bubbles of the gas fill the dough and increase its volume so when it increase its volume it makes the dough more spongy and fluffy right so this is about how the curd and bread is formed by the help of the lactobacillus and yeast now next is a commercial uses of microorganisms now when we are talking about commercial uses of microorganisms we need to know which type of microorganisms are used in commercial purposes now microorganisms which are used in large scale they produce like alcohol wine and acetic acid that is the vinegar now yeast is used for the commercial production of alcohol and wine so what we do for this purpose the yeast is grown on natural sugars present in grains like barley wheat rice and crushed fruit juices so what it happens on getting appropriate warmth the sugar converts into alcohol or acid so the process is called fermentation so we can say in other words the process of decomposition of sugar molecules by the action of microbes is called fermentation i shall repeat once again about the process of fermentation that is the process of decomposition of sugar molecules by the action of microbes is called fermentation now a french microbiologist louis pasteur was the first to discover the fermentation process who discovered this louis pasteur in 1857 Med now next is medicinal uses of microorganisms now whenever one falls ill the doctor prescribes some antibiotic tablets capsules or injections such as of penicillin now these medicines kill or stop the growth of the disease causing microorganisms so we call these medicines as antibiotics now the source of this medicines is microorganisms now these days a number of antibiotics are been produced from bacteria and fungi such as we can say that streptomycin tetracycline erythromycin etc so these antibiotics are made from fungi and bacteria the antibiotics are manufactured by growing specific microorganisms and are used to cure a variety of diseases so we can say that the antibiotics are effective against bacterial infection but these are not in effective in case of viral diseases such as common cold flu etc now the first non toxic antibiotic was discovered by scottish scientist alexander fleming in 1928 from the mold of penicillium notatum from where from the mold of penicillium notatum 
Antibiotics are even used in animal husbandry and crop production. Why they are used in animal husbandry and crop production? Because we know that the animals which are there in the farm, they also need some protection against the bacteria. So what the people they do, they mix the feed of livestock and poultry to check the microbial infection in animals. So antibiotics should be taken in prescribed dose and prescribed duration only. Their overdose may be proved harmful and their underdose would not produce the required result. Now the next the topic what we need to discuss is the very important thing that is the vaccine. We know that when a disease carrying my carrying microbe enters our body, our body's defense system produces antibodies to fight with the invader. Now the body also remembers how to fight the micro if it enters again. So if dead or weakened microbes are introduced in a healthy body, the body fights and kill them by producing suitable antibodies. The antibodies remain in the body and we are protected from the disease causing microbe. So this is how a vaccine works. So we can say that, that vaccines are dead or weakened microbes introduced into the body to produce antibodies. What we can say? The vaccines are dead or weakened microbes introduced into the body to produce antibodies. First vaccine for the smallpox was developed by an English scientist Edward Jenner in 1798 for which he is known as the father of immunology. Diseases like polio, cholera, tuberculosis, smallpox, hepatitis can be prevented through vaccination. So what we came to know that that through vaccination we can prevent ourselves from many diseases. Now the next topic is increasing soil fertility. Now how we can increase the soil fertility? Some bacteria like rhizobium and blue green algae they are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to reach to enrich the soil with nitrogen and increases its fertility which had we had discussed earlier when we had discussed about the microbes. Now next is common cells. Now some organisms live inside our body. What they do? They help in certain functions of our body system. For example, we can say that some bacteria in our gastrointestinal tract help in digestion. So these type of organisms which reside in our body and are beneficial as well are called common cells. Next is the clean, cleansing the environment. Now under this we can say that some microorganisms recycle dead organic matter such as decaying plants, dead animals etc. and convert them into simpler substances useful for soil. As we all have already learned about the preparation of compost. Okay, So we can say that that, that there are some bacteria like aerobic bacteria which plays an important role in sewage treatment and help to decompose the waste organic matter. So by this way we can say that microorganisms help in the cleaning of environment. Next we are going to discuss about the micro harmful microorganism. You can see the chart on the screen where the human diseases Causative microorganism mode of transmission and the preventive measures are discussed in a broader way. Now here we can say that the microorganisms are helpful to us and the environment that we have understood while discussing about the uh, useful microorganisms. But there are some uh, organisms which are harmful to us also. So we can say that disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens. Some microorganisms they spoil food, clothing and leather. Pathogens they enter our body either through the air we breathe or through the water we drink or through the food we eat. They can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carried through an, an animal.
Now the microbial diseases that can spread from an infected person to a healthy person through air, water, food or physical contact, we call it as a communicable diseases. So the diseases like cholera, common cold, chicken pox and tuberculosis are caused by microorganisms. Now here we can say that the common cold is one of the most common diseases caused by the microorganisms. When an infected person sneezes, he spread thousands of pathogens in the air through the fine droplets of moisture. So when these pathogens enter the body of a healthy person on breathing in that in that year he may gets infected so we can say that by this way the disease transmitted from one person to the another person now there are some insects and animals which carry diseases causing microbes with them now if you talk about housefly and mosquitoes are some such carriers now how they behave as a carriers they fly the flies sit on the garbage and animals excreta we all know we have seen that they generally they sit on the garbage and ex animal excreta so the pathogens stick to their bodies and when, when these flies sit on uncovered food they may transfer the pathogens so if one consume the contaminated food will likely to get sick so by this way the disease is transmitted from one person to the another person.